The man accused of killing his stepmother, teen sister, and the mother of his two children during a rampage last month is returning to Bucks County this afternoon to face trial. Andre Gordon waived his right to an extradition hearing this morning in Mercer County, where investigators say his crime spree eventually came to an end. They say it began when Gordon broke into his stepmother's house in Levittown and killed two people. Authorities say he then went to a nearby home and killed his children's mother before going to Trenton, where he was involved in a police standoff. NBC10's Karen Waugh was in the courtroom, joins us live in Falls Township with the first pieces of how this case will unfold. Karen? Well, Tracy, in this case, the state very much matters. In New Jersey, capital punishment is abolished, whereas in Pennsylvania, it is legal, though it has not been used in about 25 years. Now, we did speak to the Bucks County District Attorney today, who says she will be pursuing the death penalty. And we also spoke to the mother of one of the victims, who says she very much agrees that he deserves the death penalty. Andre, do you have anything to say? I say great. 26-year-old Andre Gordon had a brief response while walking into his arraignment today. Pray to God, pray to God, that's all I have to say. My heart goes out to the family members. Um, it's just unimaginable. In Trenton this morning, Gordon appeared by Zoom from Mercer County Jail. He voluntarily agreed to come back to Pennsylvania instead of staying in New Jersey for his case. Bucks County District Attorney Jen Shorn argued Gordon is not entitled to bail if capital punishment or life without parole is a possibility. The judge denied bail. In this case, multiple killings and grave risk to others are the two main factors. It was two and a half weeks ago when police say Gordon broke into two homes in Levittown, killing his stepmom, his 13-year-old sister, and the mother of his two young daughters. Multiple other family members witnessed Gordon shoot these three, including his two daughters, ages three and five, who saw their mother die feet away from them. The judge ordered Gordon not to contact the seven family members who witnessed this. And we have a triple homicide, but we have countless victims. I mean, it's just the numbers are shocking. Now, as for next steps for Andre Gordon, he's going to remain in jail until his preliminary hearing on April 16th. His five-year-old daughter is old enough to testify against him in court, but it's yet to be determined whether that will be necessary. We're live in Falls Township. Karen Wall, NBC 10 News. Tracy? All right, Karen, thanks for that.